All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here at the Sunset Speedway Park located in Banks, Oregon. And this place is known as the famous Banks Bullring. Uh, welcome back to today's video. So excited to get to this racetrack tonight on the red clay. Uh, Banks has actually been pretty good to us throughout the years. We won a limited race here in 2019. We ran second on Oregon Speed Week here last year. So it's safe to say we have a solid notebook here for the Sunset Speedway Park. And that combined with the momentum we have from the Bob's Burger and Bruce Summer Nationals where we ran second and we were so close to winning $10,000. I just feel great behind the wheel and I think this is a, a good opportunity for us to break through for our first ever Oregon Speed Week Western Sprint Tour win. So it's a hot one here today and we're going to be jumping straight into the action. We're going to have mud pack after the pit meeting and then we'll roll right into hot laps and single car qualifying. <laughs> Well, qualifying is complete here at the Sunset Speedway Park to uh, start our night. Got the new custom suit on, love this thing, fits great. Got a little bit dirty there uh, in hot laps. It was super, super slimy, but typical banks. You just don't know how fast it's gonna change. There was like water on the track in the first lap of hot laps, being in the first group, and probably after we went green two, three times, it literally was already starting to slick off. So the track record here is an 11-3. We went out and qualified, luckily I went out early third car out out of 17 360s for night number three of Western Sprint Tour. The track records in 11-3. We ended with quick time with a 13-6. So over two seconds off the track record. That tells you how slow this place was when you're watching from the stands. It literally looks like we're under yellow. Okay, maybe a little bit quicker than that, but you're not on the gas much. You're literally just trying to be easy on the throttle, keep the tires underneath you in a similar speed all the way around. If you get going too fast, then you have to slow down too much and then it just it gets uneven you get going too much back and forth too much stop and go and it slows you down so we were 13 6 and we were quick time now we're going to be rolling off from sixth in a heat race and we need to move forward so they're basically inverting the whole field and um yeah you just got to stay on the gas we're going to try to be smooth watch out for any wrecks in front of us this place is really tight uh so there's just there's no there's not a lot of options as far as moving around the racetrack so keep our nose clean and let's get out there
fan right here at the back of our trailer is a game changer. Uh, it's like 100 degrees in banks, so uh, definitely a little bit warm, and that is taking a toll on the racetrack as I talked about how slick it's getting. Sixth to second there in our heat, that will lock us into the top six redraw, so we're gonna be starting in the first three rows. I still feel like we need to get our race car a little bit better. Uh, one and two, it's actually around the high side. It's real fast, you can carry some momentum, a little bit of right rear grip, and then three and four, it's a little bit more playing the banking and momentum, and I need to do a little bit better behind the wheel. I didn't feel as strong in three and four. Uh, I felt like I kind of maintained an even pace with Jody Robinson. I never really let her get too far away from me, and a couple times I kind of snuck up to her, and then she would then she would gain it back. So we're really, really close to where we need to be. I feel like we just kind of need to get a little bit more right rear drive. It's all about, you know, usually you want your car to drive around on the left rear and down, and that's fast, but on a track like this that's so small and so slow, you actually want the car over on the right rear digging um, to where you have a lot of side bite and, and create drive that way. So I feel like we need to find something there to just be a little bit better as it gets slicker. Overall though, good start to the night. Um, we've had an opportunity to you know, make a couple changes to our race car after qualifying and now we're gonna get that uh, after the heat race as we go into the redraw and into tonight's, I believe, 30 lap A main event. So excited with how we've started. It's gonna be time to finish the job soon. Tanner Holmes, what do you think you got? Tanner Holmes got the one. Don't break anything. It's just a dash. Huh? Said, so don't break anything. It's just a dash. We'll be good. You told me when you were here, you got this. So we're heading out for the A-Main event right now. Uh, super stoked. This is probably like one of the first times all year we've started on the front row. Pulled the one, or the kid that was pulling for me pulled the one, uh, ran second in the dash. The inside lane, I just think it's not as good a position to be in, so actually running second in the dash was a, a bonus for us. Just trying to get the car more comfortable. I feel like it's good, but I just need to feel a little bit better behind the wheel, uh, mainly just getting some drive. Now, they did work the racetrack, they tilled the top, and then the Hornets were out before us, the little four-cylinder cars, and they kind of turned up the bottom a little bit with their tires, so uh, maybe we'll have two even lanes of racing. I, I have a feeling the top's gonna be a little bit better, uh, so hopefully starting on the outside we can just get going out front feel good though um, feels great to be up front a lot of lap traffic's probably ahead of us so it's just about running you know clean uh, and smart 30 laps uh, around Sunset Speedway Park let's see what let's see what we got and uh, try to bring home a win we're in uh, we're in about the best possible starting spot you can have Tanner wet down here looks, looks good up there we'll be fine just yep. I won't be good All right. Love you. Love you. Have fun. Love hey, you got this.
NASCAR wing dance for Tanner Holmes, your winner here tonight in Sunset Speedway. Full wing dance. Let's talk about this race car. It looks like you got some water leaking out just a little bit. You guys were going pedal to the metal, weren't you? Yeah, man, that was uh, that was actually a really fun race. You know, it, it definitely helps to start up front. Um, you know, hats off to Sunset for giving us a pretty good surface, you know, to be able to move in and out of lap traffic. You know, I've been here plenty of times when you're kind of all fighting for the bottom. So to get up on the boards like that's a little extra. Um, but yeah, no, I knew I had some good cars behind me. Logan um, was really good at firing off on starts and I kind of was peeking to my left just a little bit and I, I didn't really see them get too far away from me. So I just knew I had to keep going and um, just did, you know, never want to push it too hard at the end. But um, I just was holding on for dear life and, and racing my tail off. So it's been a tough 2022 for us and this has just been um, a heck of a last you know three or four days here to start speed week and exactly what we needed yeah you were up to about a 1.7 second lead logan was there even uh, justin sanders finally moving into the top three he was fast all night but you just like you said left it on the boards how you feel like going into cottage grove tomorrow i feel great you know i kind of felt like you never really know with a place like this it's kind of an oddball some guys have been here some guys haven't Luckily, we won a race here in 2019 with a pretty similar surface to this, and, and I got Brian Crockett on the wrenches, who is just stellar. You know, I, I'm not going to lie, all night long, I was kind of iffy. We were still fast, but finally, there in the feature, I think we found something just to, you know, I kept complaining about not having any drive when I was off the gas. You know, <laughs> I just wasn't going forward, and luckily, you know, we were able to. So, great, slick surface. Thanks to my crew and everyone. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been a tough year, but I feel like we're, ba we're back on the right stretch, and we're kind of finding ourselves in victory lane, which is, is pretty sweet. Tanner Holmes, ladies and gentlemen, your Western Sprint Tour 360 main event winner. Well, been waiting for this moment all year long. Uh, finally got our first 360 win of the season and it came here at the Banks Bowl Ring, a racetrack that at the beginning of the video, I said it was gonna be a great opportunity to get our first Oregon Speed Week uh, win. And it's just been a track that's been good to our team. We've always had pretty good speed here and it just took a little bit of, uh, you know, dialing the car throughout the night to get a little bit more drive get a little bit tighter and get a little bit closer to the wall as you guys saw there in the feature. And definitely found myself a little speechless, a little bit of an emotional victory. You know, it's been a very tough 2022 between Carly, myself, what we've kind of just went through as a team. We've crashed some cars, we've had some tough moments, you know, some faults of our own and some racing deals and just being in bad spots and just mentally what this season has taken a toll on our family. And we've just told you guys, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. And I mean that, that's not a joke. Like there's been moments where I've thought about giving up or if racing's really for me, if we should just maybe put a halt to this whole operation and it's moments like this that keep you keep you going and um, man what a win this was you know uh, some really good cars behind us I know uh, only 17 360s here at Banks usually a little bit of a lower car count track but man we beat Justin Sanders we beat Logan Foiler a couple other California and Northwest hitters that you know are really really fast just want to give a big shout out to everyone on this car yeah. next gen death uh, QRC Earth Environmental Pit Stop USA Fast 4 Media ABC Powder Coating on-site screeners uh, Lafarge Carson Oil Bullseye Design and print uh brian my family crew we've been working our tails off we are let's see we're three nights down we got four to go and the new suit is one for one and you guys have to let me know the breezeway car it is continuing to show speed and one of my fans mentioned tonight that we should call it the breezeway bandit so let me know in the comments section if we should kind of add on to that nickname uh but yeah just pumped this shows you guys keep putting your head down keep working hard keep getting after it i've just drove as hard as i can and that's what it takes to win races so we had a great car i did my job my crew did their job and we are headed on tonight number four at cottage grove and the rest of the week down there in uh, central oregon we want a western sprint to our feature guys thank you so much we'll see you all in the next one Peace.